Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera Dalam video kali ini saya akan bincangkan satu lagi soalan Berkaitan dengan conservation of momentum Yang melibatkan collision in two dimension so, Mari kita tengok soalannya A ball moving with a speed of 17 meter per second Strikes an identical ball that is initially at rest After the collision, the incoming ball has been deviated by 45 degree from its original direction and the struck ball move off at 30 degree from the original direction and show in figure 3.9 so this is figure 3.9 calculate the speed of each ball after the collision now the first step in solving a problem we need to draw a diagram. In this case, we need to draw a before and after, before and after diagram. So before collision, ball one M one move with velocity u one, while the second ball is initially at rest, means that the second ball M two f initial velocity u2 is equals to 0 meter per second after the collision the incoming ball has been deviated by 45 degree so after the collision ball 1 which is the incoming ball is deviated at an angle theta of 45 degree so let's label that as theta 1 and the struck ball <coughs> move off at 30 degrees so let's label that as theta 2 now we want to calculate the speed of each ball after the collision which is v2 and v1 so this is ball 1 and this is ball ball 2 now in our diagram before and after diagram make sure we draw a coordinate at this in this case initially both ball move in x component and after the collision the ball move in both y and x component so, kegunaannya untuk kita draw coordinate axis ni supaya kita boleh nampak dengan jelas uh, semasa kita menyelesaikan masalah ini sama ada uh, kedua-dua bola ini ada momentum pada X dan Y komponen ataupun tidak dan dalam kita punya before and after diagram make sure kita labelkan tiap simbol yang kita akan gunakan dalam calculation Nah, seterusnya kita akan uh, terus list non information terlebih dahulu so non information yang diberitahu tadi kita dah baca soalan uh, boleh patah balik video asal kalau nak tengok soalan yang diberitahu di sini tak apalah saya patah balik ada satu keyword yang sebenarnya saya tak highlightkan yang ini a ball strikes an identical ball identical ball maksudnya dia serupa sebiji dari segi dimensionnya dari segi massnya therefore walaupun value nya unknown tapi kita tahu bahawa the mass of ball 1 is equals to the mass of ball 2 is equals to let's give it common symbol m ok kerana perkataan identical yang kedua diberitahu bahawa the initial velocity of ball 1 u1 is equals to positive 17 meter per second dia bagi tahu positif itu saya nampak daripada diagram asal yang diberi pada soalan the ball move to the right so i label it as positive uh, 17 point uh, 17 meter per second and then we have angle theta 1 after the collision, the ball deviated uh, at an angle theta 1 is equals to 
45 degree while u2 initial velocity of u2 is equals to 0 meter per second and after the collision ball 2 is deviated at an angle 30 degree so setelah kita listkan non value apakah value yang kita tidak tahu dan in fact value itu mungkin kita nak cari yang itu unknown value so, apa dia unknown dalam problem ini Unknown dalam problem ini ada dua. Yang pertama sekali adalah V1, the final velocity of ball 1 and V2, the final velocity of V2. Barulah kita boleh solve problem. Nah, satu konsep, okay, known unknown sekarang ni apakah equation yang kita nak pakai. Tapi sebab ini adalah permasalahan uh, berkaitan dengan conservation of Momentum, so equationnya cuma ada satu sahaja Yang ini equation of conservation of momentum The sum of initial momentum is equal to sum of final momentum So dalam penyelesaian masalah, kita akan tengok kedua-dua exist okay, Kerana pelanggaran ini melibatkan two dimension so, Mari kita tengok uh, Mungkin saya nak Copy paste dulu gambar ni supaya senang kita tak payah scroll ke atas. Okay. So, ini gambar yang tadi. So, sekarang ni kita nak apply conservation of momentum pada X and Y component. So, let's look at X component first. So, pada X component, the momentum is conserved. So, initially, only the ball 1 move with velocity U1. So, saya boleh tulis equation m1 u1 dan akhir sekali kita ada m1 v1 x plus m2 v2 x now since m1 is equals to m2 so kita boleh gantikan simbol m1 dan m2 dengan common symbol which is equals to m manakala v1 x dan v2 x Kita boleh cari dengan kita resolve vector V1. V1x is equals to V1 cos theta 1 while V2x is equals to V2 cos theta 2. So substitute that into our equation. We will have M times 17 u1 is 17 nanti dulu apa kata kita just masukkan dulu simbol m m u1 is equals to m v1 cos theta 1 plus m v2 cos theta 2 nah daripada sini kita dapati m kita boleh kan cancel so, yang tinggal adalah u1 is 17 is equals to v1 is unknown cos theta 1 theta 1 is 45 degree plus uh, v2 cos theta 2 theta 2 is 30 degree now that's equation 1 now, from this equation, kita dapati, kita tidak ada V1 dan kita tidak ada V, V2. That means we need another equation. Another equation will come from Y component. So, if you look at the diagram, initially, the object only move in X component. So, 
momentum in y component before the collision is equal to zero. After the collision, we have momentum in y, y component. So, kita tuliskan equation kita. Look at the diagram. Look at your diagram. Before the collision, the momentum in y component is equal to zero. After the collision, the sum of momentum is equal to m1 v1y plus m2 v2y. Now, of course, m1 is equal to m2. We can replace it with a common symbol. m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m. While v1y and v2y can be obtained by resolving vector v1 and v2. Now, since the questions already provide the diagram, jangan lupa untuk kita tengok direction v1y dan juga v2y. In this case, v1y is directed downward. Okay, so kalau downward, therefore, v1y is equal to negative v1 sine theta. So, v1y is equal to negative v1 sine theta, while v2y is just equal to v2 this is sine theta 1, sorry. While V2Y is equal to V2 sine theta 2. Now, V2Y is positive because the direction of Y component for V2 is upward. So, we can substitute that into our equation. We'll have 0 is equal to M negative V1 sine theta 1 plus m v2 sine theta 2. Rearrange this equation, you'll get m, okay, negative, pindah sebelah kanan, uh, pindah sebelah kiri akan jadi po, positive, v1 sine theta 1 plus uh, is equals to m v2 sine theta 2. So, saya boleh potong M. Daripada sini, saya boleh dapat equation V1 is equals to V2 sine theta 1 over sine theta 2. And that is equals to V1 is equals to V2 sine 30 degree over sine 45 degree. So, sine 30 degree over sine 45 degree is equals to 0 0.7071. Okay. Saya tak nak tekan dulu kalkulator dekat sini. Let's this become equation 2. Yang akan kita gantikan ke dalam equation Equation 1. Apa equation 1 tadi? Equation 1 tadi adalah this one. So this is equation 1. V1 cos 45 plus V2 cos 30 is equals to is equals to 17. So di sini kita boleh masukkan V V1 is equal to V2 sin 30 over sin 45 dalam equation 1. So, apa akan berlaku? Kita akan dapat 17 is equal to 1 is equal to V2 sin 30 degree over sin 45 times cos 45 plus V2 cos 30 degree. Nah, di dalam equation yang kita dah dapat sekarang ni, kita dapati ada satu saja unknown iaitu V 
V2. Okay. So, kita boleh selesaikan. Kita akan dapat 17 is equals to uh, 0 0.5 V2. This is 5. Plus 0 0.866. V2 and kita simplify lagi equation ini untuk cari value V2 saya akan dapat V2 is equals to 12.44 meter per second so that is the answer for the speed of ball 2 then kita boleh saja terus substitute value ini ke dalam equation yang kedua equation yang kedua tadi adalah V1 uh, is equals to V2 sin 30 over sin 45 so substitute that into our equation kita akan dapat V1 is equals to 30 degree over sine 45 degree uh, mengapa saya tak simplify benda ni awal-awal sebab jawapannya dalam titik perpuluhan dan saya tak nak ada run of error dalam pengiraan saya walau bagaimana pun kalau pelajar-pelajar semua simplify boleh ambil 3 ataupun 4 titik perpuluhan uh, bagi value sine 30 over sine 45 di sini saya akan dapat final answer for speed V1 is equals to 8.79 Six four meter per second. So itu adalah penyelesaian masalah bagi soalan ini. Kiranya para pelajar ada soalan boleh tanya saya di dalam ruangan komen. Saya juga alukan semua para pelajar untuk tekan kalkulator dan semak pengiraan saya sama ada pengiraan saya betul ataupun tidak. Kalau salah bagi tahu saya dalam ruangan komen. Dan siapa-siapa yang menonton video ini tapi belum lagi subscribe Matriculation Physics channel, please click the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.